Max here, home of champions, will have exclusive rights to the Paris Olympic Games this summer in the Caribbean region. Of course, the game set for the 26th of July to the 11th of August. The work to provide the best possible coverage to the region started long ago and is now in full throttle. We have now on the Sports Max Zone two special personalities on Zoom, the CEO of Trinidad and Tobago Television, TTT, Adrian Winter, and here in studio, the Sports Max CEO, Nicholas Matthews. We have some news to share with our viewers. Welcome to The Zone, gentlemen. And uh, may I ask Nick to start things off with this major announcement? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lance. Um, and welcome, Adrian. But sure. we have been working behind the scene, and uh, Trinidad is probably the second biggest market in the Caribbean. And we have agreed a deal with TTT to for them to broadcast the Olympics in Trinidad. Um, so they will be the exclusive free TV partner in Trinidad and Tobago. So everybody everywhere in Trinidad will be able to access the Olympics coverage on TTT. Oh, that's excellent. And uh, Adrian, your company is about 60 years old now, and uh, this must be a very big project and attractive project to your company. Indeed, you know, you know, today um, I, I say it truly, you know, marks a significant milestone, you know, as we commemorate this groundbreaking partnership with TTT Limited and Sportsmax for the broadcast of the um, forthcoming 2024 Summer Olympics. Um, this alliance, you know, it represents a real pivotal moment, and you know, um, underlying or shared commitment to providing the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago unparalleled access to the pinnacle of sporting events, and that is the um, Olympics. So, you know, to our esteemed partner, Sportsmax, um, who has been, you know, renowned in delivering high-quality content and state-of-the-art production, you know, we at TTT, we are truly honored by um, the selection of TTT Limited as the national media partner for this uh, monumental Olympic broadcast. Yeah, and you know, my question to you would be, one, being a Trini, I know it's a big deal when it is the Olympics because the entire country is, of course, glued to Olympic coverage, especially supporting our Trinidad and Tobago athletes. So for you and your viewership, talk to me about the big numbers that you're expecting to see come this Olympics. Yeah, you know, I, I always say, as I said to the, uh, when we signed the agreement this morning, I said, you know, the Olympic Games, you know, it transcends more, more than just the um, competition. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a real celebration of human achievement, unity and excellence. And, you know, we, are, we in Trinidad and Tobago, we're very well known for that, that um, unity and that coming together, especially where sporting is concerned. And, you know, as we prepare to witness um, what we, would, you know, to witness the world's four, foremost athletes um, compete on this global stage, you know, this partnership, um, I say it signifies a convergence of expertise, innovation, and shared passion for sports. So, you know, we, we are so excited for Toronto and Tobago. We're excited for people, I mean, from July 26th to August um, the 11th, you know, this promises not only to be, a, to be an exciting time for the world, but, but you know, the people of Toronto and Tobago, whether, whether they will be in their homes, whether they be in their workplaces, um, I know some people will have viewing events, um, you know, it really, really promises to be an exciting time for our country. So we're really, really excited as a national broadcaster and as persons in the business of broadcast media for, for this partnership. Nick, I don't know if this question is best addressed to you or to, of course, Adrian, but mm -hmm. whoever sees it fit to answer can go ahead and do that. Now, with regards to the coverage, right, will they be sharing in our um, esteemed panel of analysts? Will they be getting the shows that we do? I know our team is actually going to be on the ground um, in Paris doing features, which I really enjoy looking at. Is that how it's going to work, or do they...? So, so TTT will be able to carry the full broadcast. Um, all our shoulder programming, our wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the games, 
our features coming in from Tokyo, from Paris. Paris, yeah, <laughs> Tokyo, gone. <laughs> and, and also our, our prime time show that we'll be doing. So they'll do everything. They'll carry all the broadcasts. Our highlight show at the end of the day, they'll be carrying everything. And I mean, Trinidad has a, has a, a long history of strong Olympic performances. And we do believe, I mean, we have seen the performances coming out of Carifta Thank you. over the last weekend, <laughs> <laughs> right? And um, the history and the legacy that Trinidad has in the Olympics, um, we're expecting great things this Olympics, and we're looking forward to, to this partnership and ensuring that everybody is able to view the Olympics nonstop right across the, 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 the Tuna Island Republic. Yeah, and I remember in 1976 when Hazel Crawford won the 100 mm -hmm. and Donald Corr won the 200 in Montreal, Canada. It broke a drought of mm -hmm. several decades of the Caribbean winning gold medals at the, at the Olympic Games. So I, I take the point Nick just made about the strong history of Trinidad and Tobago at the Olympic Games. And as we speak, their outstanding cyclist, uh, Nicholas Paul is in California competing at the Pan Am Track Championship. Right. He has a world record. He's one of the best in the world. Yes. And we think that Nicholas Paul has a strong chance of becoming a rare cycling medalist for the Caribbean. And uh, Adrian, what do you think at the moment is the appetite for uh, the Olympic Games in TNT? Because I remember at the Tokyo Olympics, TNT didn't medal, which was uh, you know, a bit of a, a letdown for a country that is so steeped in, in sports history. But um, I suspect that your team, Olympic Committee team, is, is trying to change that in Paris. Oh, yeah. I mean, so, you know, we, we always have, we have a long history in Toronto Tobago of sports really, um, you know, uniting us as a nation. I know, I know there are persons in Toronto Tobago that are really, really looking forward to these Olympic Games and what it will bring in terms of the of the, um, the the persons rallying, I mean, I could tell you just from my experience this weekend with um, the recently concluded Curve the Games, um, you know, everyone was glued to their to their TVs on on Saturday, and not on Saturday, sorry, on Sunday, um, witnessing the finals, and it was just like everyone having these viewing parties and they, you know, rallying around their athletes, and you know, we in Toronto, Tobago, and I, I should say as a Caribbean people is that we rally around Caribbean people, especially when it comes to the Olympics. So, you know, even if at some point in time, you know, whoever we are we are we are supporting may end up, you know, falling out at some leg of the of the tournament, um, or the games, I should say. Um, you know, we find ourselves, you know, joining another team and supporting that team right through to the very end. So um, you know, this is a Caribbean thing for us. Um, it's not just a Toronto and Tobago thing, but it's a Caribbean um, um, showcase for us. So we're very, very excited for this opportunity. Yeah, and Adrian, what will the build up be like um, when it comes to the Olympics and the TTT? Do you have any plans just yet as to how you will be treating the build up? Because we here are really, really excited about it and we've already started our planning and all that, as we would have said at the top of this segment. Will you be doing anything special that our viewers should know? Well, we, we, we've had some conversations with Sportsmax thus far in terms of a joint <laughs> partnership, in terms of that build-up. Um, we, we also have some ideas, but, you know, we, 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 now that we've we finalized this agreement, we can now put some of those ideas into action. Yeah. Um, very, very soon you will see um, some of the, you know, how we will, how we will be marketing, um, you know, the, the, the whole broadcast of this um, Olympic coverage and, you know, rallying the country around the Summer Olympics 2024. Mm -hmm. and, and, and just to add to that, um, TTT will have full access to all our build-up shows, um, all our features, everything that we'll be doing regarding the Olympics. They'll okay. have access to those content to broadcast on, on TTT. I'm so excited, yes. I have to say. Yeah. And for the benefit of our viewers, Nick, um, how important is it to strike up partnerships with uh, uh, major networks in the Caribbean region, in the individual mm -hmm. territories, as part of laying out the broadcast platform? One of the, the, the Olympics charter is to ensure that the Olympics broadcast reaches to almost everybody across every region. Yeah. And that's one of the key um, and important factors for us. And, 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 and we 
always try to ensure that we partner with local local stations to ensure that broadcast is, is stressed to everybody. Um, we think it's an important endeavor. Um, the content, you have, you have athletes who are participating and everybody in each country, they want to see what's happening, you yeah. know, and we have to ensure the widest coverage possible. And this has been one of our commitment to the IOC that we'll ensure that persons in the Caribbean will be able to view the content everywhere, anytime, and on almost every platform. Yeah, and of course, there was a, a, a time not too long ago, Nick, when, you know, the Caribbean had to depend on the NBCs and ABCs Correct. of this yeah. world. Correct. And we didn't get Caribbean-specific coverage. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of times we felt lost watching it because yeah. it was Absolutely. obvious that the coverage was not designed for us. Absolutely. Yeah. And we have seen how Sportsmax have transformed the delivery of these international content over the last couple of um, cycles, um, especially the Olympics. Um, with our involvement in these productions, we have been able to customize the broadcast yeah. to the market. And so Caribbean people, you can see your people so and you can celebrate with them, you know, in the moments that, that we, we so we come to love, yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah? Yeah, one of the things I don't like is hearing stories about our Caribbean people from somebody that has never lived or mm -hmm. understand it. So true, for me, true. it's a big, big deal. We will tell our story based on our experiences because Sportsmax is the Caribbean channel. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank, thanks, and Nick yes. Matthew, CEO of uh, Sportsmax, <laughs> and Adrian Winter, uh, CEO of uh, TTT, and uh, just uh, formalizing the partnership announced between Sportsmax and uh, the free to air partners in TNT. Trinidad and Tobago Television, TTT. Thanks, Adrian. We look forward to talking again Sports in the near future. Take care. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Lance Amara. Right, and we'll be back with more on the Sports Night Zone after this.